Hello, my name's Scott. I'm a professional magician, and this is a magic review. It's a kind of magic. In today's review, we're going to be looking at the Comedy Shaker by TCC Magic. The, the TLDR on this. Oh, also, before I do the TLDR, uh, I have to address something really important. If my moustache is a little bit more wonky than usual, it's because I managed to hit myself in the face today with flash paper. So I managed to burn some of my moustache. <laughs> so you get to enjoy the remnants of my burnt wonky moustache. But yes, the TLDR on the Comedy Shaker by TCC is that it's one of those gag items that it's so stupid, it's amazing. So we'll talk more about it in the review, but the TLDR is that I think it's a really fantastic prop for any comedy magician and also for some magicians who want to add a little bit of zany comedy to an existing trick. That's it. It's not a magic trick in itself. It's just a gag item and it's brilliant. It's not a new idea. It's a classic idea, but this is TCC's version of it. But what is the comedy shaker? It is literally just this. So it's a, it's a classic looking uh, salt shaker, or I guess you could say a, a salt, um, sugar dispenser as well. And just when you shake it, it makes a funny noise. That's it. Uh, that is all the comedy shaker is. You can use it with magic tricks. Uh, you can use it as a, a stupid gag. You can use it however you want to use it, but that is all the comedy shaker does. It does not do anything else. There are a couple of things taught, but we'll, we'll come onto that in, in the next point. But that is what the comedy shaker is. And with the comedy shaker, you receive the gimmick shaker. You can take the top off of it. Uh, there is a small crevice inside here. But this is, this is not salt and this is not sugar. This is another material that is meant to imitate that. So this should last forever. And uh, yeah, there's a small crevice that helps the, the salt shaker make its noise. You can't put anything in there though, otherwise it won't make the noise. It has a empty matching salt shaker, which is completely ungimmicked. And you also receive a link to a, to a video instruction, which you can download which is roughly 25 minutes long. So they teach you in it a routine with three balls. So it's three ball, it's the reoccurring balls. So you put, you, you take one, two, three, uh, you take one, two balls, you put one in your pocket and then you have three balls again. And each time you, you put a little bit of magic dust on the balls and they come back. So that's what they teach you to learn with it. But I would say don't buy it for any routine that's taught on the instructions. Buy it if you have a use for the comedy shaker because there is no real effect with it. They teach you something to get you going, but then you have to carry yourself forward with all of the uses, potential uses of the comedy shaker from there. And that's what you receive with the comedy shaker. How easy is it? This isn't really relevant like it is with other tricks. Uh, there's, there's nothing to do except for they do teach you how to switch the two shakers in the instructions. So that is a little bit difficult and they only teach one method which requires lapping. They don't teach any method uh, with pockets or anything, but I think it's self-explanatory. I think beginners may struggle with ideas for that, but anyone who's been in magic and knows a little bit about magic for a while should know how to switch two shakers. It's not too crazy, but literally you just, <laughs> that's all you do there's, there's there's nothing to this gimmick in terms of sleight of hand uh so it's, it's an extremely easy gag prop to use and of course that means it doesn't really have a reset time either depending on what you're doing with this bottle you may have a reset time but that's down to you to create an effect create a routine create a trick that uses that but this this just you can use it forever continuously as much as you want you can't stop it from making a noise though so you can't shake it <laughs> and then shake it again and it doesn't make the noise. Every time you shake this, it will always make a noise. So no reset. And that also means that there's no angles either. Again, the only angles that you have to think about is the switch that they teach you requires lapping. So there's some angle requirements for that. But as I say, I think most people who are buying this will have some sort of use for it, will know a purpose that they're going to use it for, and thus will have some sort of switch that they already know or that you already know. Uh, so yes, I, I would say that angles are nothing to do with this, this prop. I just want to interrupt the review for a second. 
please do subscribe to this channel. Please do support this channel. Share the reviews if you find them useful. The more this channel grows, the more reviews I'll be able to do. I'm doing this to try and help everyone to make good choices and not regret buying bad magic or poorly made magic. So please do support this channel as much as you can. I really do appreciate it. Back to the review. Pocket space, as you can see, it's like a, a normal salt shaker. It's uh, roughly 10 centimeters tall, and that's it. Uh, you can easily fit both of them in pockets. Uh, I would say jacket pockets, probably not trouser pockets, unless they're loose fitting trousers, but you can see what they are. You can see the pocket space that they take up. And with those three points out of the way, we'll go on to final thoughts. As I say, I think this is a brilliant prop. I think if you find a use for it, if you have a use for it, then definitely go for it. It's, it's brilliant. I don't know how much it costs yet though. TCC did send this to me and it's not currently listed on their website. So I assume that it's coming out soon and hasn't been listed yet. So I can't tell you the price, but uh, for example, it's, it's one of these things of you might, you might in the middle of your show, you might say, oh, my lips are parched, put some lip balm on. Then you can say something like, let's get the magic salt and we will do something with the lip balm and it disappears. Like anything like that, that's a very basic thing. And uh, you know, you can think of your own uses for this. So I think it's brilliant. I think so many comedy magicians are going to enjoy this. Uh, there's nothing else I can contribute to this. It's a very straightforward prop. If you like it, buy it. I hope you found this review helpful. If you think someone may like this, if you know a magician who will get some use out of this, do send them this review. And uh, yes, thank you to TCC for sending this to me. I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, remember to leave a comment if you have any questions, like the video if you found it useful, and uh, subscribe. I'll see you in the next review.